A couple of days ago, I put this tweet up on my Twitter account outlining the difference between niche research and keyword research. And off the back of this, got so many messages from you asking how I do my keyword research. So in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I use Publisher Rocket to get the most profitable keywords for my books. As I just mentioned, we are gonna be using Publisher Rocket in this video. For those of you that don't know what Publisher Rocket is, it's essentially just a piece of paid software that allows you to do some really in-depth keyword research amongst other things. But we are gonna be just focusing on the keyword search functionality of it in this video. It does cost uh, $97, but it is only a one-time payment, so it's not like a lot of other pieces of software where you have to pay kind of reoccurring every single month. It is just a one-time $97 payment, and in my opinion, it is so worth the money. The value you get out of it is way beyond $97, and if you do want to download it, I will leave a link to it in the description. And now we'll jump into actually how I use Publisher Rocket to find my keywords. So once you're in Publisher Rocket, it's actually super easy to use. And the first thing you need to do is just make sure you choose the right market that you want to look for your keywords in. You have a choice of USA, UK, and Germany. Um, you obviously can't use any other territories outside of this, but in my opinion and my experience of KDP, I only actually sell basically 99% of my books to USA and UK. So it's not really too much of an issue that you can only use these three territories. So choose your market, choose your language, and then choose a default format, which I would go for books, because obviously we are in this video producing paperback heart actual physical books. And then you need to go to keyword search and this is where we're going to find our keywords for our books. And what you need to do here is just generally type in a very broad kind of word related to the sort of book that you're doing. So in this example, I'm going to be pretending we're making a, a riddles book. There are so many of these on Amazon that do really well. I'm just going to use this as an example for how I use Publisher Rocket to find keywords. So the first thing you do for a riddle book, you probably type in the word riddle and then just press go get and rocket and it will come up with loads of related keywords to riddle book. And what it does is give you a number of metrics from average pages, number of competitors, all the way through to estimated searches per month and competitive score. These are all really good metrics to know, but in my opinion, it's the final two are the ones that you really wanna be looking at when it comes to the numbers, and you'll see why in just a second. So once you press this magnifying glass at the side, it will analyze each keyword, and then give these two metrics a score out of 100, uh, sorry, this one a score out of 100, and this also just an estimated searches per month. But what's really important is it will color code it and do all the maths and kind of the thinking for you. So all you really need to do is look at the different color codes. So I'm just gonna go through for the demonstration of this video and press loads of these magnifying glasses and get more data about lots of different keywords. So as you can see here, the color code either comes back as red, green, or yellow. Basically red meaning bad, yellow meaning okay, could be better but not terrible, and green obviously meaning good. So in terms of estimated searches per month, generally the higher number here, the more likely it is to be green. You probably will notice that some of the numbers don't quite add up here because 855 is obviously higher than 335, yet 335 is a green um, number rather than this one being a yellow number. And the reason for this is this actually takes into account the conversion rate of that book. So books ranking for the keyword riddles for kids don't convert as well as riddles for kids ages 12 to 14. So generally what I'd say is don't necessarily worry about the raw number here. Just go off the color because that's what Publisher Rocket is doing all the work for you. It's not just the estimated searches per month that you want to care about. It is the conversion rate and that's what Publisher Rocket does take into account. So it's really, really powerful software. And generally my rule when I'm doing keyword research is I will never use a keyword that has a red box in it. Ideally they would both be green, but anything between green and yellow um, kind of upwards is a good match for me. So if I was doing a riddles for kids book, I didn't kind of really know who to target for. Looking at this data, I would opt to target for a riddles for kids aged 12 to 14, because you can see it's got green for the searches per month and it's not too competitive. So a lot of people are searching for it and there aren't too many competitors for you. Again, here it shows here 577, which is a lot lower than a lot of these 1,200 and above numbers. So Riddles for Kids aged 12 to 14 is definitely probably a keyword I would lead with on my book. And if I'm just thinking of making a Riddles book, I would definitely aim it for 12 to 14 year olds rather than just a generic Riddles book, because then you can target this as your main keyword in your title and massively smash the SEO for that. So I'd probably lean um, towards this kind of keyword being my main one. And I would also go through and look for other sorts of keywords. So you also have to remember how you want to kind of strategize with your keywords. Your main keyword, as I said, needs to be a really strong one, which is either high in searches and low in competition. But in your back end keywords, you kind of also want to be picking up as many searches as you possibly can. So fill up maybe three or four boxes of just really high ranking estimated searches per month. One. So riddle books for kids age eight to 10, although yours is age 12 to 14, 
Generally, it is going to be applicable to people who are aged to 10. Obviously, don't just spam really irrelevant keywords in your boxes because there is no point in doing that. So this might be a keyword I would then put in, but you can just see how easy it is to find all of these metrics using Publisher Rocket. And the next thing I will do is then find a another brain to, uh, another term, sorry. So something like, um, let's go for brain teasers because that's kind of related to the idea of a riddle split, kind of gets the brains engaged. And there's loads of keywords that come up for here. So let's have a look into these and see which what the, uh, these are saying. So keep going down. So there's an obvious one that stands out here. So brain teasers for kids, which lines up with the book we're doing. We're doing a riddles book, which can be classed as a brain teaser and our target market is kids. So brain teasers for kids is green and yellow, which actually is a really good keyword for us. Although the competitive score is 60. So it's kind of more towards the top end of the competitive score kind of um, coloring but it is a good keyword to do. So I'd probably put this in my subtitle. So I'd probably lead with my title of Riddles for Kids Age 12 to 14, um, Brain Teasers for Kids somewhere in the subtitles. So you've got two really strong SEO driving keywords that you know are getting searched for and also aren't really too competitive. So you're gonna rank quite high for those keywords. So generally with Publisher Rocket, all you need to do is just put in loads of different searches and just pull out the best performing keywords Ideally, as I said, they'd be green and green, but you can't always expect perfection with your keywords. So what I'll do then again here, let's just go for brain games and just generally spend half an hour, 45 minutes typing in as many relevant phrases as you possibly can and just record all of the best keywords and stick them in kind of a Google Sheets or, or some sort of Word document and kind of tally along how good each keyword is. But then obviously just lead with your strongest keywords and fill out your keyword boxes kind of where appropriate with the best words. So looking down here, there aren't really any keywords that are really essential for what I'm looking for. Um, this one has really good estimated searches per month, but it's super competitive. So brain games for 10 year olds isn't a keyword that I would go for, but you kind of get a feel of how you would do it. And that's exactly how you can use Publisher Rocket for your keyword. So that's kind of a simple and short video of how I would use it. I hope you found this useful. If you did, then drop a like and also subscribe to see some more KDP content. And I will see you in the next one.